Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of UI Builder, we are at part number 5 now. In this, I will show you one more complex example of UI Builder events. Okay, so first of all, let me demo that one to you. This is my experience. ServiceNow 911, click here. This is a particular simple list. Okay, so what event I am triggering? I am triggering this event. Whenever we click on any of the link, within the list okay it will redirect us to that particular record like this if i click on caller it will redirect me to able okay but i have not configured view all because view all is a separate event so that's why it's not working so now let me show you how i did it so this is my experience this is first page that is home so the list is appearing in this particular variant only where we are clicking and then finally it is coming here and it is showing this user form okay so let me open this one first that is home one click on editor this is my simple list go to events here one event is already leaked let me delete it and show you from scratch so now click on add event mapping which event I was talking about this one previously we discussed view all right now we are discussing reference link clicked it means whenever a user click a reference link in a cell okay so whenever somebody is clicking any of the reference link we are redirecting it to a separate form which is a part of our experience only and showing that record there okay so now click here here we have all the event handlers click on link to destination which destination we have to select the destination and here you see all the pages which is related to this experience and I want to set the destination as my second page that is agent form that is user form and if you remember in that user form we have two parameters table and sysid just see here for this page we have two parameters table and sysid right we are passing table and sysid and the same is presented here okay so we have to pass value of table as well as sysid in order to display the things here right so we have to do it manually or we have to do it by data binding so let's do it by data binding how to do that this is important how you grab the reference values the reference values available here by using at the rate payload dot value of table so by writing this i am using the payload what is payload here the complete detail of that particular link of that particular cell okay from that cell i am picking up the value of table and passing it to this particular parameter of my page that is user form in the same way in the case of sysid we have to bind it and again same use payload dot the sys id so you see here this is sys underscore id it means from the payload of that particular cell i am fetching the value of sys id field and passing it to the parameter of my page that is user form click on ok add so this is added here as soon as somebody click on any of the reference here from that reference we use the parameter known as payload and that payload contains all the metadata with respect to this particular record okay and from that we are fetching the value of table and sysid and passing it to the next page save it so just come to the next page you see here this is a simple form in order to display a simple form we just need name of the table and sysid right and here we are passing the name of the table and sysid directly from the parameters that we already discussed so whatever parameter come here it will be displayed here so what we are doing we are passing the value of sysid and table from here into the parameters of this particular page and the same is displayed here as simple as that okay so now let's go to the experience one more time click here from this list click on any of the reference click on able 
it will show the value of that particular ml okay click on this incident it is displaying the basic ess view of this particular incident so just remember two things here when we are using context whenever we have to pass page parameters dynamically to that particular variant okay when we use payload whenever we are using referenced value for a record okay in that particular sense you have to use payload and context this is the two important thing here i hope you understand it i am doing some more research i will come up with some more examples if possible till then subscribe share and like bye